what is up guys welcome back to another video on the channel and good morning it is early morning video start once again here for a video on the audible youtube channel today we finally start doing some little mods here to the trx so last night we washed up the trx for the first time since we bought it so she's looking beautiful especially in black now we washed everything on the truck of course except for the wheels because they are indeed being replaced especially this one man look at how scratched up this thing is initially when we bought the truck i love the stands i still love the stands because it's such a wide and beefy truck and these are most likely 20 by 12s they're sitting on 1350 wide little ridge grapplers but i don't like the wheel design i can't say i'm a big moto metal fan either so we're getting some new wheels we're heading over to wheel connection to get them mounted oh we got a big boy super duty dually this thing is heavily modified too I think at least it looks like from the rear. Let's see if we can get up next to it. Oh yeah, that's a big boy right there. Very nice truck, very nice. But never mind a Ford Dually. We're in a Ram TRX, baby. And uh, yeah, I love this truck, man. It is my favorite truck that I've ever owned. It's a truck that I should have had all along. And I might even say that when the Raptor R arrived, because we do have an order in for the Raptor R. If you guys have seen the previous video on the channel, uh, we do have an order in with Town and Country Ford. Have no idea when it's going to be accepted. I mean, it's accepted, but w w when's it going to go into production and, and so on? Like, uh, I don't know. I think it's going to be a long waiting game. But whenever that truck arrives, um, you know, I mean, the, the plan is to have the TRX and that truck, and then we'll make comparison videos. And because that's the real competitor to this truck right here. It's the Raptor R. It's not the regular Raptor that we have in the driveway currently. I mean, off-road wise it is. <laughs> this thing is a rocket ship. I absolutely love it. It's definitely the uh, gas suckiest truck that I've ever owned. Um, I've had two supercharged F-150s. Uh, V8s, of course, and uh, they were like, they had great fuel economy compared to this thing. We've had two Raptors now as well, and uh, that's a, a six-cylinder, and they suck at gas. They can be okay if you're really babying them on the highway, but like any turbo engine, whenever it's in boost, they're sucking more fuel than a V8 is, and that's just a fact. Just that little pool right there was like 20 bucks. What are you doing, Chevy? Honda, Honda, look, it's a Honda. It looks like a damn Chevy. <laughs> Honda Ridge Lines must be the corniest trucks that you can buy. Except for maybe the new Hyundai's or whatever. I mean, like, come on, man. Buy a real truck. Okay, well, let's uh, see what we have here. What are we replacing the current wheels with? Another fuelies. Yeah, baby, look at that. So we got some 20 by 10s fuel rebels. So these are not as wide, but they're a lot better looking. I love this design. They're satin black or yeah, matte black, whatever you call them. Yeah, I think it's gonna look great. We're sticking with the same tires, 1350 wides, but on a little lesser width of a wheel. But yeah, this is gonna look good. So I'm gonna sell the, this set of wheels here um, to obviously a Dodge owner who wants them. This, I mean, this can be fixed. I even know the company that can fix them. So yeah, but it, it still doesn't look good and you're gonna have to pay to fix them. So I figured we'd sell this set for, I don't know, 300 bucks cash. And like we've done every other time, um, come and pick them up. Send me a DM on Instagram if you really want them. 300 bucks cash. I'm not shipping them anywhere, anything like that. Come and pick them up. Send me a DM on Instagram if you're interested. 300 bucks for these 20 by 12s. Moto Metals fits a Dodge, of course. Maybe some, I don't know. Depends on the bolt pattern, but yeah. All right, so Eric just let I me mean, know. Except the Ford. Except, okay, so Dodge went to the Chevy bolt pattern, so these will fit a Chevy as well, apparently. This bolt pattern, and if you needed to put them on a Ford, you'd use that hole. Oh, okay, so now we figured out they're dual drills. 
So these wheels are pretty much fit any brand. Even a Ford. There he is. I'm late as usual. <laughs> I think I'm early. So this is Chad's car storage department no here, longer. but he, he can't fit any cars. Look at all these wheels that they've gotten in. So uh, yeah, you guys need wheels. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you kind of like uh, you have took a full container. And... <laughs> but back to the new wheels that we are uh, installing. I got these bad boys from TC Customs. My boy Mitchell, who owns a separate division of Town & Country Ford, where they only do modifications and such. You guys have seen plenty of videos of me having my vehicles out there. My old truck got supercharged there, modified, lifted, the whole nine yards. The Raptor's been there. They are awesome people. And now, I don't even have a, an F-150 anymore. I mean, we have the Raptor, but I traded it for the Ram, as you guys know. So even if you have a Ram, a Chevy, or a Ford, or any other truck brand, TC Customs can help you out. There's a link in the description where you guys can save 15% if you choose to go with them for wheels, tires, lift kits, anything that you want. They are amazing to deal with. We'll check out the link in the description. If you're looking for something for your truck, I got these wheels in five days. So yeah, very happy camper over here. All right, so we're all done. Chad's gonna pull it out. Yeah. Oh yeah, that looks so much better. That looks so much better. Chad said I had a hillbilly truck earlier with the 12 wide. Oh look at that, no rubbing either. When we did full turn backups earlier, it was rubbing. This is perfect, because this is a 20 by 10 wide, not 20 by 12. Same with tires, 1350, and it just looks good, man. I love it. If you live in this area, I've said it so many times, and everyone already kind of does, but if you, for some reason, don't know about wheel connection, you need wheels, you need wheels and tires mounted, anything like that, hit them up, wheel connection. So we drove home real quick here before uh, we actually go and say hello to another vehicle on the channel. But we're taking a quick little interlude here to mention the AMG giveaway. If you guys haven't entered yet, you need to. Every dollar spent at autoblog.com is an entry to win my C63 AMG. Now, if you don't know already, this thing is absolutely badass. Straight piped by my friends at Frequency Intelligence 6.2 liter V8. If you're not an AMG guy yet, you will be after you drive this thing. So head on over to autoblog.com, secure your entries, and you could be the winner of my C63. All right, well, it feels good to have a new set of wheels on the truck here. We got 4,899 miles on the Ram as we speak it should pop over to 4900 here right before we get to auto illusions because we got to do a quick little danger ranger update if you guys saw a few videos ago i think it was it's definitely the gnarliest video i've ever filmed <clears throat> obviously didn't plan for this to happen but the freaking brakes went out while i was filming and going 50 miles an hour uh yeah it was pretty nutty and in that whole panic I'm gonna mention this because I've gotten probably 5,000 comments about this. This is what everyone asks. Why'd you take your seatbelt off? Like right as I noticed that the brakes had gone out. And I don't have a good answer for that. I don't, because I can't remember what I was thinking that initial second uh, of panic. It was probably like I might have to bail out of the truck. That's probably what I was thinking, but I can't remember if that's exactly what it was. But I took my seatbelt off like real quick. And I, I don't know why. So I don't have an answer for it, sorry. So I'm sure a lot of you guys are gonna be like, oh, why don't you get different wheels? You should have gotten a different color, like gold or whatever, something else. I get it, but I just like the black on black look and I love the design of these wheels. They are a minus 18 offset, by the way. You can kind of see on the front wheel, like from afar, got that nice little, yeah, no. But yeah. From the TRX to the Danger Ranger, and here she is, ladies and gentlemen. She's got new brake lines up front. And uh, I, I thought that the brake lines were leaking in the rear, but it's not. It's the um, axle seals that are leaking, if I'm not mistaken. So we're going to take her off for a quick little spin and make sure that she has braking power. I also thought that that was probably the last video I ever shot in that Ranger, but no. We got more plans. All right. We got brakes. <laughs> it brakes better than ever. <laughs> oh yeah, we got hella brakes. 
transmission is kind of crappy now though after that video it's harder to get it in gear let's see here I'm trying to get it in third gear what the f <laughs> we messed up the I can only get it in second gear what the Oh, there we go. Finally. Get it in fourth? Yep. We definitely messed it up a little bit though during that video where I was trying to force the gears in without using the clutch. And then the brakes broke. But at least we have brakes now and we got more plans for the Ranger. So let's take her back. I'm not trying to die before we make that video. Now check out what they have in the shop here. This has nothing to do with trucks, but this thing is so cool. It's a 76 Cadillac Coupe de Ville, baby. And this thing is just, I think it's awesome. All original. A little beat up, of course, but we've got white leather seats. It's like sitting down on a damn couch here. I think this is so cool. And look at these controls here. This is for the wipers. Got the light switch here, and then just the climate controls right there, cruise control. Now these knobs, apparently for the radio, they have original, or they have gold flakes in them. This thing's dope. I mean, it's a pimp mobile. Look at this. The back still has, obviously, ashtrays. This thing's so cool. And no wonder mobsters use these cars. I mean, look at this trunk. You can fit at least a couple bodies in here. Uh, this thing is so cool. I might have to get something like this eventually on the channel. This is just, I think it's sick. <laughs> That's a pit mobile. All right, I'm going to pull in the driveway here and see if we get a rub. Nope, no rub. Perfect. I love it. All right, well, that's gonna do it for today's video. I love the wheels. It looks so much better. They fit so much better as well. No more rubbing. For some odd reason, I'm probably just imagining this. The truck feels like it's lighter on its toes. Again, I'm probably just imagining that. So we gotta do some new performance tests here soon. See if we can get this here to 60 under four seconds. But again, huge thanks to TC Customs for getting the wheels to me quickly. Check out the link in the description if you guys are interested in stuff for your own truck. And also thanks to Chad and Wheel Connection for mounting them quickly and having it done. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what to do. Give it a huge thumbs up. If you're stopping by for the first time and you haven't already and you want to, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.